What is up everybody, it's Joe from JLW Games coming at you with another cool video back in the world of Planet Coaster with the Intamin Multi-Launch Coaster. Now you may have noticed that it has been quite a few days before since the last episode and I was on a roll of doing it almost every other day or so of getting episodes left and right, left and right, and then of course a thunderstorm had to run through um, our area and zap my PC and I was without a PC for quite a few days, so... Basically, yeah, thunderstorm. It zapped and actually took out our router as well. So we were out without internet for the rest of the day, uh, for the next day or so. Uh, and we had to get a new router, and it zapped through the router, went through the Ethernet cable, and zapped my motherboard, um, and killed the motherboard. And I think um, it kind of zapped my power supply as well. Um, I use a surge protector or anything everything but I think it's time for a new one after this incident so anyways I'm taking a lot more precautions um, from now on As beans what I did after this situation I did upgrade my PC instead of just replacing the parts I actually upgraded the parts that I did get so um, I was on an Intel base system with an Intel i9 or Intel uh, yeah Intel i9 10 core processor don't remember exactly which one it was it was uh, 70 some hundred X or something like that. I don't remember um, I don't really care anymore because I switched over to AMD uh, to a Ryzen 9 5900 X one of the new processors that just came out back in last November I believe it was um, which is much faster much better and I'm very excited uh, to have that processor I'm thinking about overclocking it here soon and figuring out um, uh, making it giving it to the the fullest uh, potential it could be so very excited about that I also upgraded my RAM sticks um, to have faster RAM I'm going from 3000 megahertz to 3600 megahertz um, since AMD does since Ryzen, or Ryzen processors do like to have faster RAM as far as I know um, I also upgraded my power supply from 750 watt to a thousand watt just in case I want to upgrade more in the near future the only things I didn't upgrade were my hard drive slash SSD drive and um, my GPU and the case is still the same. I also added a few more fans and I did get a new water cooler um, to cool that 5900X in case I do want to clock overclock it. Got the Kraken X53 and, or the NZXT Kraken X53 water cooler, which is awesome. It's got a little infinity RGB mirror on, on its uh, cooler. It's pretty cool, actually. It's actually really awesome. So, with that out of the way, to have an explanation of where I've been, so um, I really encourage you guys to stay on the disc or join us on the Discord. Link's in the description, um, because I always update this kind of stuff on the Discord all the time. So, um, and also, the Discord's fun, so you should definitely, obviously, always check it out as well, as long as you read the rules. Just make sure you please read the rules. <laughs> but anyways, uh, going into the actual project now, um, this episode's very much custom support based. We're going to be working on, we've been working on a lot of custom supporting in this episode um, as well. So obviously I've been custom supported. The What we're working on right now is the giant dive loop after the uh, top hat element uh, this is the second biggest element on the on the entire ride so um, I went based off of Velocicoaster's kind of uh, support structure but made it a little bit on a larger scale um, and hopefully it turned out uh, the way that um, in a realistic sense uh, I think it did um, it's just very much of a big <clears throat> very much a big element uh, to, to unfold here, so uh, very, very interesting. Um, also, I'm very glad that um, my hard drives are just fine. As much as I do back up most of my uh, uh, file saves, uh, like my big projects like Silver Dollar City, uh, Recreation, Red River Valley, all that stuff is all backed up on the Steam Workshop. Uh, therefore, if I was to lose it, I could just literally get it back on the Steam Workshop again. Um, and I believe a lot of these save on like the cloud as well. So um, a lot of the saves usually are pretty fine if you're starting it from a new computer. So if I wanted to go a different computer, uh, I could probably upload some of my saves anyways. So um, no big deal about that. But however, I did not back this up on the Steam Workshop uh, for this project. So it would have really sucked if I would have lost it. Um, but thankfully, um, my hard drives, SSD, totally okay no issues there whatsoever um all my saves and stuff all my uh it's just as if 
I got my computer back. The only complaint I have about my PC now, um, you may be able to hear it in the background a little bit. I had to turn the gain down a little bit because you could if I turned the gain up a little more. <laughs> was that the fans, um, some of the fans that I put in are very loud. I might actually change that in the fu uh, near future just because um, of how loud the system is. Um, that's the only main complaint I have so far. My uh, Besides that, my PC's been running beautifully since then, so I'm absolutely excited uh, for what is to come with that. So now you guys know how <laughs> my PC updates uh, and everything like that. I'm absolutely excited because the main thing I want to upgrade now is the GPU eventually. I'm running a 1080 Ti, so I'm still good for a while. I can still do... 4k gaming if I wanted to or uh, 1440p gaming it can handle all that even VR it's awesome um, but I'm just basically waiting at this point for GPU prices to go back to normal um, since they haven't been normal since the since the whole pandemic and everything so anyways uh, so going back to the video we just have these large supports for the dive loop and um, I do work uh, on connecting some of the spots that we have been working on and then the spots we were working on in this episode for everything so all of the custom supports are nearly complete on this side on the little island section which is the second half of the ride um, probably getting into the next episode we'll probably start custom supporting the first half of the ride um, and we actually start to go over there a little bit by the end of this episode and actually start doing a little bit of foliage and stuff like that um, but yeah, I am starting to actually develop a little bit of a theme to this ride. Um, I haven't revealed it just yet, um, but Gunner, of course, came up with an awesome um, name and <clears throat> a little bit of a theme idea for this ride, which is awesome, and I thought it was great. You know, you get that name that you, you're going through names and themes and stuff like that, and then you just have that one that just kind of goes, clicks like, yes, that's the one I want, you know. Um, it kind of had I always end up having some of those moments, which is pretty epic as well. So um, Yeah, so after basically I did that large support in the back Everything was kind of a little bit easier because it's just basic supporting at that point. <clears throat> There's some spots of supporting on um, some of these coasters that get a little bit complex and a little bit difficult to figure out at some point, you know kind of like the um uh, the top hat, that's why I started with the top hat. I wanted to get it out of the way uh, because it was the t probably the most difficult supporting structure in this entire build. So everything's going great. After I get this done, most of the re pretty much the rest of the ride are basically going to have very basic supporting and it's going to be pretty simple, I think. So pretty easy from this point on out when it comes to the custom supports, I believe. Uh, very basic uh, supports pretty much for the rest of the ride so once you get a couple supports in you can really copy and paste a lot of the same supports throughout the ride and just scale them down to <clears throat> to fit what you're doing right now um, which is great and um, yeah so foliage stuff like that and then we do work a little bit on the pathing as well with them um, adding some trees uh, with planters and then also um, just some fencing some curbs everything like that it's gonna look great <clears throat> Uh, when it's all said and done, I can't wait to see the final results. Um, this, uh, again, will probably be a little bit of a bigger, larger project than the Mach Extreme Spinning Coaster. I'm putting a little bit more effort into this build, I think, as well, um, just when it comes to overall detail and theming, <clears throat> because we're going to be adding a little bit more extra details on some stuff, um, and that's what I'm most excited for overall for this and it's it, just the support structure and everything going in on this little island just looks awesome i'm very excited <clears throat> to see what it looks like and it's finished state i've already been doing some like uh looking at some cinematic um <clears throat> stuff like for this ride the cinematic video is going to be great you aren't going to want to miss the cinematic video on this one i'm going to try and go all out and spend probably hours trying to get the perfect shots I can fi possibly find um, for the cinematic video of this ride. Um, it's going to be great, and hopefully that will come sooner rather than later. I'm going to be working on this a lot more often now that I finally got my PC back up and running again. Um, I'm motivated as probably the most I've ever been in quite some time, so be sure to be looking out 
for more live streams. I'm planning on live streaming more on Twitch again. So if you're uh, following me on, make sure you're followed to me on Twitch as well. And I'll probably be streaming on YouTube as well. So on both uh, platforms, maybe not at the exact same time. I might just do back and forth a little bit, you know, uh, here and there just to kind of, you know, stream a little bit on one platform and one on the other just a little bit you know just kind of back and forth just kind of going back and forth like um, maybe i'll have <clears throat> one series streaming on one site and one series streaming on another so basically say um maybe i'll work on sdc on youtube and then maybe i'll work on rv for like twitch or something um something along those lines um or maybe you know do some Fortnite videos. I don't know. Um, since I apparently play Fortnite a little bit, no, I don't, you know, whatever. <laughs> but, anyways, going into this, we I did want my big plan for this little area that we did. Uh, I wanted to put in some nice, beautiful palm trees uh, right next to the water on this little uh, <clears throat> little plaza with the um, uh, plaza and uh, pathway. I can't, don't know why I couldn't figure out how to. Uh, say what I was trying to say, but um, we're gonna build up a little fence on the other side So people can't fall into the water or go for a little swim. We don't want them going for that swim um, Because there could be sharks in there. You never know um, You know that's been a thing lately is theme parks have been having some shark issues, especially SDC I hear so anyways <coughs> Moving on. I just want to get this a little bit started get that feel going and I want to make a little uh, bit of some shaping on there. That's why I put the little circles around those planters just to give the pathway a little more character because I feel like they're just a little bit bland. There needs to be something more going on into that. Um, so that's basically what we started with. So going over here, we decided to work a little bit on some terra painting and we're going to start on um, some foliage around here as well. Look how bare this looks as well. And just within minutes, we're going to be seeing a lot more or some plants, trees, just transform this area to bland and boring and to something that's a little more exciting and, and more pleasing to look at with all the trees and foliage because that just makes everything better i'm telling you right now if you build something so basic and just add some trees foliage and then some terra painting um and maybe some rocks even too it transforms something you know kind of boring looking into something more super interesting and really good within minutes and i mean literal minutes it doesn't take that long to place down some of these trees uh, and foliage to make it look a lot better and i'm very very proud of how this all turned out so we're nearing the end of the episode so um next episode should be coming a lot quicker um as well i'll probably actually film that um very soon maybe even in the next day or so so uh probably within the next day or two you'll see the next episode <clears throat> so i hope you guys have enjoyed this episode um, glad to be back into it after getting my PC up and running again. Um, hopefully to be seeing you guys soon by streaming or, and, and such. So make sure you guys comment, like, and subscribe for more amazing content like this. I'm going to catch you guys in the next episode. Thanks so much for watching and make sure you guys have a great day and an even cooler tomorrow. Thanks so much and goodbye.